it's Lexi DIY and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a super exciting video. We are going to be tiling this bathroom. You guys, I am so incredibly excited because I have partnered for today's video with the Tile Shop. So thank you so much to the Tile Shop for sponsoring today's video. You guys, they have been the absolute sweetest to work with. Everybody has just been so incredibly nice and not to mention their tiles are Breaking gorgeous. I am so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see what they look like. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. To start off, we needed to mix the thin set. So I had Dustin lift the bag for me. We put the water in before and I needed to adjust my drill. It kept getting stuck because I definitely had it on the wrong setting. So make sure that you guys adjust your drills when mixing everything up because it makes things work a lot easier and I added a little bit more water because I was doing half of the bag so I think I miscalculated a little bit but once I got that all set it was super easy to mix up and the consistency of this thin set was really really beautiful then I used my trowel to go ahead and put a layer of thin set on there. I'm using the flat side to get everything even and then I am using the notches in the trowel to um, make sure that all of the tiles have proper adhesion on the back. Now these are their handmade look tiles from the tile shop and they are so incredibly gorgeous. They actually have these natural sort of edges like a Zalige tile but a lot more affordable. So a Originally, I was going to lay them uh, with no spacers because they have that natural grout line in between, but you'll see in a moment here that I actually end up taking these off and adding spacers because I miscalculated a little bit on where my shower shelf needed to be. So I ne ended up needing those spacers to get the proper height so that I would get the right layout for the shower, but I'm glad that I was able to show you guys that they can be laid both ways. And also I checked the adhesion because they were a little bit difficult to get off, which means that I was doing a good job with the thin set and getting everything pushed on properly. While you watch some more of this tile go up, I wanna talk about my experience going into the tile shop showroom. I was absolutely floored when I saw all of the beautiful options that they had. They had such a wide variety of styles and prices and it was incredibly inspiring to just even walk into the tile shop showroom. So if you have one near you and you have some projects coming up, I highly recommend that you go ahead and stop by your local showroom. And everybody was so incredibly kind, helpful, and knowledgeable, which is super important because I am a DIYer and this is only the second shower I've ever done. So they were answering all of my questions and making sure that I had absolutely everything I needed to get this shower done properly. If you watch my last video, you would know that I am absolutely obsessed with this waterproofing slash backer board that I am using for the tile. It's called Go Board. And I actually was introduced to this waterproofing system from the tile shop. I am so happy that I tried this out because compared to the heavier cement boards that I've used, it was a lot easier to work with and it's already waterproof. So I was using their special fasteners and then you go over all of the seams with the go board sealant. It was definitely a lot easier to use than the cement board. So if you are a new, you know, person that is getting into doing some DIYing and you want to tackle a shower project, I would highly, highly recommend going with go board because it was a lot more simple to use. Now what you're seeing me do is measure out the tiles and I'm using a wet tile saw to go ahead and make any cuts that I need. I did measure everything out beforehand to make sure that I wouldn't have any small tiny cuts on the outside and I just verified that it all fit and then I went ahead and cut the rest of my tiles to the same length. There's a few things that I want to mention about starting with a, a whole tile instead of a cut tile on the bottom. 
One is you want to make sure that if you're going to do that, your tub is completely even all the way around. I did use a laser level to make sure that I had the same distance all the way around so that I could start with a full tile. Um, so that's really important because you don't want a gap so that everything is level. If one side of your shower happens to be a little bit unlevel, then you would have a gap underneath your tile and you definitely don't want that. You do want a small expansion gap, which is why I have put the spacers between the tub and the tile. When I got to these edge pieces that did need to be cut, I made sure that I measured it out and again, I checked that first cut piece to make sure it was gonna be good. And then I cut all of my cut tiles at the same time so that this process would be quick and I wouldn't have mortar drying up on me while I was doing this. Then I needed to cut my tiles at a 45 degree bevel and they do have special um, things that you can buy to do this a little bit more easily, but I just, put some tanner's tape on and I held my tile at a 45 and used my normal tile wet saw to go ahead and complete this process for my shower ledge. And honestly, it worked out really, really good. And I'm so happy I ended up needing to do this shower ledge. It was such a happy accident because it turned out so incredibly cool and it's gonna be extremely functional, which is also very important because I have a lot of shower products so I needed somewhere to store them and this was the perfect solution. For this shower ledge I cut both of the tiles out of 45 and then they kind of just came together. Now I think it's really important to say that I did build up the back of these tiles with thin set near the wall so that it goes at a slight slope. If it's just completely flat, then water won't be able to drain off of it. So when I was doing my thin set, I made sure that there was a little bit more at the back than there was going to be at the front. And I am using spacers in between the gaps in the front because I'm going to be filling that with grout. And I think it's gonna look extremely clean and classic when that part is done. Now we're on to the wall above the shower shelf. And when I was figuring the layout of the tile out, it was really important to me to get a full tile at the top of this shower shelf so that it lined up with the outside edges really seamlessly. And I'm lucky that I was able to fix my math error with the spacers. So luckily I was able to do that, but just make sure if you're gonna tackle this project that you check your math many, many times because you wanna make sure that the layout is cohesive with your tile and that you're not gonna have any super tiny cuts and that everything is going to flow seamlessly. So I very highly recommend spending the extra time to build out your plan of the way that you're gonna lay your tiles and then check it twice. When picking out my tile, I really wanted to go with something timeless and classic, but also still in my modern organic vibe that I keep my entire house. And I went with a lighter color because this is a small bathroom. So I really wanna make sure that I am using every trick in the book to make it look a lot bigger, including tiling all the way to the ceiling for this shower. So that's gonna make it look a lot more high end and it's gonna draw our eye up as soon as we look in there and make the bathroom feel so much larger. One really beautiful thing about these tiles that you can see here is the slight color variation. So that is really giving some depth to the shower. It's making them look handmade. Um, you know, they're called handmade look tiles because even though they are not handmade and they're a little bit more cohesive than say a Zalige tile, they still give off that same vibe, which I really love because Zalige tiles are a little bit tricky to work with, especially for a beginner. So these were the perfect style and a lot more simple to use. Not to mention, Silly Childs, because they are handmade, come at a premium cost. So if you're on a tight budget like I am for my 
hot in this lake house renovation, then these are such a great option because they are a little bit more affordable than a handmade tile, but they're really giving the same impact and I am so obsessed with them. While we're not going to finish the shower tiling today because it is a pretty lengthy process, we have already gotten so far and the difference in this bathroom is huge. I can't wait for you guys to see the before and afters. And I also want to mention that at the end of this video, I am going to give you a sneak peek of the flooring that I picked out because once I saw these tiles on the wall, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to bring the flooring in here and lay it out so that I can get the full vision. And once I did that, let me tell you, I was so excited because this bathroom is probably going to be the best project that I've done so far. After seeing these tiles and the floor tiles that I'm about to show you guys, I'd love to know if you guys have any opinions on what color vanity I should put in here. I was thinking since everything's neutral that I might do a fun color. So definitely let me know in the comment section below what you think. And again, I want to give a huge thank you to the tile shop for sponsoring today's video. And now I'm going to show you guys the before and afters.